Let's come into our mountain pose. Sitting bones toward the floor, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core to support your low back. So ribs toward your spine, lengthen up and relax your arms. Spread your toes, stretch your spine and breathe. Exhale any stress or tension. And then inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level for a warm up, stretch those fingertips out. Hands to your heart, pull those back, feel the shoulders drop. Inhale out to the front and exhale, clap your hands behind you. Press the hands to the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes, keep breathing. And then exhale, pivoting at your hips, come on over. Head toward your legs, hands toward your head. Feel those shoulders, let them release. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones. And then bend your knees slightly, keep the chin in gently, and work your way all the way up. Lift your heart, but not your chin, and stretch your head back, coming into the upper body for a back bend. Take a moment there, breathing, stretching lengthening the spine and inhale your way up releasing your arms take a moment feeling any circulation increase as we get ready and do it again arms to shoulder level hands to your heart stretch the front shoulders down clasp your hands behind you with opposite thumb outside and again lift your heart stretch your spine pivot over as you exhale and just deepen as much as your back needs for your stretch this time. Move your chin around, release the neck. Tuck in your chin, slightly bend your knees, and again, wind your way back up into the back bend once more. Take a breath or two, relax the shoulders down, stretch the head away, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale, upright, release your arms, and just take a moment, feeling that energy increase. And keep one arm down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, keep the body facing the front, lean to the side. So get those ribs opening, little lateral stretch to the spine. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, and maybe look up a little bit so that you make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale to the top, keep the shoulder down as you bring the arm back to your side and the other one out, palm to the ceiling and over your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the other side, stretch it out, push the foot down, get that opening along the side through the ribs and don't forget to breathe. Inhale, back up, exhale into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, feeling those ribs a little more open. Shoulders back and down, spread your toes, crown to the ceiling. Inhale, your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows for our twists. So sitting bones go down, base of the skull up, really stretch the spine apart and turn to one side. Take a breath and exhale open. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. Spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears, and don't forget to breathe. Feel the twist, keep the weight on both feet and on an inhalation, come on back up in the twist into only the upper body from your back bend. So remember, never overwork your low back when it's twisting. Arms still by your ears, push the elbows back, but the shoulders down. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Shoulders stay down as you switch your arms. And again, pull your arms next to your ears. Stretch the spine apart and exhale to the other side. A breath in. Exhale, open. And just deepen as much as you'd like on this side. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders, grip shoulder blades towards your waist. And again, after a moment there, breathing and relaxing in the twist, 
Keep your weight on both feet still as you come all the way up. And again, lift your heart for the upper body back. Shoulders down. Just keep breathing. Inhale to the top. Exhale around to the center. Shoulders stay down. Extend your fingertips toward the ceiling. Extend the mountain. Feel that support in both feet evenly. Lift the kneecaps toward your thighs. Let the back of your legs get a good stretch. And then pivot forward, swan dive, arms at shoulder level, stretching out flat, and then drop again into red doll, just hang. Or pull in deeper if you like the stretch on the back of your body. Hands behind your calves, pull in your head toward your legs. And then releasing your arms to the front, slowly work back up, shoulders back and down. And again, into mountain pose. So let's do one more twist, just turning your toes out, your whole leg actually turning, so your knees and toes stay the same direction. Hips open, and then bend your knees slightly, just over your toes. Put your hands on your knees, but don't push, so just position. And we're stretching the spine apart again, so sitting bones back, crown forward. And then turning your whole body to the side, bring your shoulder down toward the opposite knee, pushing the hips back behind you. So your hips, ribs, and shoulder turn along with your head. Don't just turn your neck. Don't just move your shoulder. Just turn your whole body into the twist. Stretch it out. And then exhaling, turn back to the center, getting everything straight and stretched apart again. And exhale, turn to the opposite side. And again, hip goes up on the side you're turning toward, ribs go up on that side, shoulder also, everything turning, bringing that lower shoulder across. Take a moment, breathe, stretch it out. And then exhale again back to the center, stretch, and release back into mountain pose. As you get back up, just feel that spine a little bit more activated and once more. And let's work the pelvis. So again, the toes go slightly out, turning the whole leg, knee going toward those second toes, knees right above your toes, hands above your knees, but again, no pushing. Just getting those shoulders over your toes as well. Stretch the spine long, and then push the sitting bones, hips back, and the chest forward, coming into a back bend. So the pelvis is tilting up toward the back, and then tuck it down and forward as you pull in the ribs and belly and look down. So feel the spine going into that forward bend, spread your toes out. Inhale into the back bends, and at your own pace, just slowly moving, feeling each bone moving as you go. Tucking down and forward, feeling that contraction through the midsection as you look down. And again, just breathe with it. Inhale, expanding the chest, moving those hips and sitting bones. And tucking through. Just feel the whole spine work, the whole breath capacity going with it. And the next time you're forward, just pause and then inhale back up. And again, mountain toes, standing, breathing, relaxing. And then bring your hands onto your lower back, rotate those elbows toward each other giving a little gentle support for your low back as you're in mountain pose. And then keeping your hips over your ankles, lift your heart, <clears throat> push your head back, coming into a nice back bend. So shoulder blades toward your waist as always, shoulders relaxed, crown reaching away, and the whole front of your body opening, especially through the heart. Take a breath. Lift the ribs maybe a little bit more. And then chin toward your chest. Inhale and release back in the mouth pose. Feel your spine again, a little bit more activated and stretch it apart. Another twist. So just gently going side to side. 
Maybe yellow position. Follow your hands from one side all the way around to the other side. And just keep stretching your head up, up, up toward the ceiling. And let that whole spine get an opening as you move. Take a breath, just exhale, maybe go a little deeper at each end of that circuit. And then back to the center. And again, mountain pose. Feel your spine more activated than one more time. And don't forget to breathe. Bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, inhale, bring them toward the ceiling. Thumbs behind you, lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs. So that bend as much as your unsupported version would like. Exhaling, follow your hands down. Again, into ragdoll. Just hang a moment, lifting your sitting bones. Slide your hands up under your knees, come into that pathway of stretch. Spread your toes. And exhale. Hands together, inhale. And again, to your heart, shoulders down, and another back bend, lifting your hands, pulling the thumbs back and lifting your heart. Exhale back to mountain pose, and release. Relax your arms. Sink into your favorite balance foot, and we'll do our balance practice. Spread your toes. Get that knee going toward your second toe, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Activate your core. Make sure it's supporting your low back. Keep those shoulders relaxed, back and down, and bring your other leg up. Don't cross it over. Make sure it just goes straight. It can be close to the floor or toward your heart as much as you like. When you're stable, remember, circle your ankle. You want to make sure it stays flexible for us. And flex and point before you put your foot back down so it all straightens out again back into mountain pose. Feel your difference on the two sides and shift to that other side with your balanced foot, getting ready to move that second foot up. Core active, shoulders relaxed, and keep the base of the toes and heel on your balanced foot evenly supporting you. Bring the leg up as far as you'd like it to go today. And again, when you're stable, just circle those ankles. Keep breathing and relaxing. Flex and point before you put it down and release. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose, exhaling any tension. Once again, sitting bones toward the floor, feel that hip area open or activated hands to your heart. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling. Another back bend because we love them, or maybe not. And then swan dive forward again. Pivot all the way down into ragdoll. Slide your hands up into your halfway up stretch. So the shoulders go back, shoulder blades toward your waist. Sitting bones and crowns stretch apart. Everything straight, elbows, knees, and spine. Keep the chin slightly toward your chest. Remember to jump over to that crunch at the back of your neck. And then bend your knees and come onto our floor transition, child pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down toward the floor. Take a moment, breathing, stretch your spine, relax your shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. Let the spine get a good stretch. Feel the release through your hips. And then inhale, sit up, and come into staff position. Legs out to the front, pushing out through your heels. Sitting bones slightly behind you. Get that core active, supporting your low back, and reach the crown of the ceiling. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Don't forget to breathe. So you're in your Staff position, and we'll warm up the hips a little bit. So bring one foot to your opposite thigh and let the knee come down. Remember, if this is tight today, you can bring this leg over to the side, or you can put padding behind you to give you a little more pelvic tilt. Knee and toes stay up on that leg that's toward the front. And just let the knee come down gently on its own. 
Or you can add weight from your hand, but again, never push. You don't want to have resistance. Just let that stretch happen gently through that outside of your hip rotator area. And then when that feels a little bit easier, bring your foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around and pull your leg in and just move back and forth side to side. Again, lubricating a little bit more through that joint. If that's working well and you love it, you can bring your leg higher or closer. That makes it more intense in the joint though. So don't go there if that's not right for you. Take a breath and as you exhale, release. Feel the difference. Remember that's what's going on in your yoga is noticing what's going on for you. So of course, we're going to do the opposite side. Know that one side may be tighter than the other. That's okay. That's habitual because we use our bodies the same, going into chairs and cars and sitting at our desks. So one side does tend to be a little tighter. And again, you can move this leg to the side or keep it where it is, depending on what feels right for you. Take a breath, let it relax, add a little weight, but again, no pressure. Keep the shoulders relaxed, the core active, the spine stretching apart. It's yoga, there's a lot of things to think about. And as things again relax in this leg, bring the foot and knee into your hands, moving back and forth or pulling in closer if you love it. And get that hip rotator again working for you. Crown to the ceiling, shoulders down, making it more intense if you want or not. Exhale any tension and, of course, release that foot back into staff, noticing how things are releasing and relaxing in your body or not. And then bend your knees, bring the heels in near your body with the knees straight up and toes going forward. So you're on your sitting bones, not the back of your body. And we're going to do a little balance practice to keep that core working a little bit more today. So shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Feel that core working as you lean just slightly back, but stay on your sitting bones. So don't roll onto the back of your body on the sacrum. And we're going to bring that right foot just a little off the floor, one foot either one. Just feel how that is. If that's fine for you, you can bring it out straight or you can straighten it completely and reach those toes toward the ceiling, still on your sitting bones. If that's too intense in your hip flexor, lower the leg, but keep reaching out through the toes, out through the crown, working that core, breathing, doing what you need to. If you start vibrating in the midsection, that's okay, but if it's too much, put your foot back down when you're ready to do that. Otherwise, stretch out through the toes and the head, and then bring it back down. Stay there or sit up and give yourself a little break if you want to. Take a moment to breathe. And of course, activating that core. So ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders, shoulder blades down toward your waist. Lean back slightly, and we'll do the other side. Put up just a little or more straight. Keep it at that level if that works, or lower it a little bit more if that's more to your comfort level in that top of your thigh area, hip flexor. Stretch it out through the toes, but don't crunch the toes. Spread them up. Out through the crown. Keep that core working for you. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, exhale. Remember <clears throat> that foot down. Again, you can stay there working it, or you can sit up and give yourself a little break. Take a moment, keep those shoulders relaxed down, activate the core, feel it work, lean back slightly, stay on your sitting bones, and yeah, you know we're going to do both feet together. So if bringing the feet off the floor is enough, stay there. If you want to bring them parallel shot in, Shins parallel to the floor, that's okay. Hands, palms up to keep those shoulders relaxed or straighten your knees or take a little out of the hip flexors and hold your toes, shoulder, shoulder blades down and reach out through the base of the toes 
as you stay on your sitting bones. You can stay there or you can bring the legs apart with the hands not on your legs or on your legs. There's lots of options to do with this, but keep that core working and stay on your sitting bones. Keep breathing, stretch it out through the crown, and don't forget, exhale tension. Bring your feet back to hip width apart if you've got them separated, and slowly bring the feet down. Sit up, slide the legs to the front, press out through the heels, relax through those hip joints. In fact, lean forward, let them release a little bit more. And then inhale and sit up, bring the bottoms of your feet together into butterfly. Let the knees come down toward the sides. Clasp your hands under your toes, pull the heels in as close as they want to come. And just relax through that inner thigh. Feel that core, keep it supporting your back. And then bring your hands right under your shoulders behind you. Fingertips down or palms, whatever works for your arms and body. Press just gently into the fingers or the palms and lift your heart as you do. Maybe those thighs will release a little bit more and the knees will come a little further toward the floor or maybe not. Just let it happen if it does. Bottoms of the feet kind of angling toward the ceiling to release any stress in the hips or knees. Take a breath, let it maximize or not going as far as your body is willing to do it. And then releasing your hands, lift your knees, bring the legs out to the front. Take a moment, breathing, and then exhale, bringing the feet to the end of the next staff position with the core active. So we're using that core to slowly lower to the floor. And just come all the way down onto your bed so we can do our twist, getting ready for our final relaxation. Hands out to the sides, T position, palms up today. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back gently down, keep that core active, and either bend your right knee or keep it straight and raise the leg toward the ceiling. Flex your foot as it gets up. Push it up toward the ceiling as much as you can. The other leg just relaxes along the floor. We're rolling all the way to the left side. So keep your head on the floor. Don't overwork your neck. Bring your hands together in front of you and your foot all the way down to the floor. If you can hold your foot with your left hand, do that. Otherwise, just hold your leg. Then bring your right hand to the ceiling. You look up at it, palm open. Keep the shoulder. Hand and shoulder level as you lower the back of your hand behind you. So go to the floor if that works for you or wherever it goes. Let gravity bring that on back, letting your body move into a twist just gently. The more you hold your foot, the more your lower back is in that twist. So be gentle again there if you need to. And if you have neck issues, don't turn your head too much. But if it's okay, Turn your head toward that arm behind you. Take a breath and just exhale. Let everything relax and deepen into your twist. Remember, your hand may never make it to the floor. That's okay. It's just a gentle way of letting gravity bring you as deep into your twist as your body is willing to go yet. So just breathe, exhaling, relaxing, allowing the twist to happen. The more you emphasize those exhalations, remember the more things re release along the spine, ligaments relaxing, and body deepening into your twist. Only go as far as your body wants, never force it. But for now, just let go of your leg or foot, roll all the way onto your back, press your back gently down and flex your heel. Use your core for support and slowly bring that foot to the mat. When it gets down, totally relax, straighten things out if you need to, because of course we're going to twist to the other side. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, feet hip with the foot, sitting bones toward your heels and back gently. Either bending your knee or not, 
when you're filled up toward the seal. So left foot this time, press that heel up, pull the toes back toward you, let the other leg relax, hip open. Hands, palms up, head on the floor, roll to the what is this right side. Foot to the floor and hands together. Bring the foot into your hand if that works for you or hold your leg and bring your left hand to the ceiling, palm open right at shoulder level. So don't bring it down toward your foot or up toward your head, just lower it behind you straight. And again, the hand may not make it to the floor, but that chest stays nice and open with the palm up toward the ceiling as gravity brings you into your twist. Push the foot away in front if you want to intensify that blow back here in your twist. Turn your head more if you like the neck area twist. But of course, personal practice, do what's right for your body only. Exhale, just allowing the ligaments to release and your body to relax and your twist to deepen as much as is right for you today. Exhale, keep relaxing and hold the twist as long as that feels right and helps. And of course, do it longer on your own, but for now, we need time for our relaxation. So taking a breath, letting things release and relax. Let go of your foot, roll onto your back. And again, press the back gently down, core activated and heel leading as you slowly lower that foot to the floor. And again, when it releases all the way down, just completely relax, straighten things out, bringing your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders down, and toes toward each other. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, just let everything release and relax. Feel your body soften, let that belly go. Expand the heart and chest as you breathe, and then just let those shoulders sink, relaxing your torso. Release any tightness in your hips, in your legs, in your body. Deep breaths in, exhaling, letting any tension, any tightness release from your body. Softening everything, and just let your body grow heavy and sink deeper into that earth support beneath you, letting your body go completely, relaxing, deepening into that earth embrace, letting your body release. As you relax your body, let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, now that other thoughts will come to you. Let them release as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. As always, at this moment, there's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. It's your choice what you pay attention to. And at this moment, the only thing you need to pay attention to is drawing your breath in, finding that peace within. Exhaling the tension and feeling yourself only with peace. Take a few moments, relaxing your body, releasing your mind, and being in peace. And as always, if you have time to keep relaxing, just take your time, release and relax as well as you have opportunity. 
If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, you can draw an energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And with each breath, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely whenever you're ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, and you're sitting bones toward your heels, your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your feet. Pop your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you've had enough hug and appreciation, Run your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up. Anyway, or whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.